What's going on YouTube? Welcome in to another beautiful build for you. Today we're building in the Y40. It's been a couple weeks when we built one here on the channel, but today we got something different going in it. We're not doing any kind of normal RGB with like Lean Leaf fans or Deep Cool. Today we're going over to Fantex's brand new D30s. We've seen it before in the NV5, but we haven't really built them here yet on the channel and we wanted to check them out. We've got a 14700K powering today system alongside a 4070 Ti Super. Absolutely killer specs. 48 gigs of RAM, a two terabyte NVMe drive, and an interfee watt. ATX 3.0 power supply powering it all. These fans that really make this system look absolutely killer. Let us know what you think down below in the comments. Make sure to hit that like button as well to help us with the algorithm over here on YouTube. Make sure to hit the subscribe button because we know it's only about 10% of our viewers are actually subscribed to our channel. If you want to catch us live on an raw like it is right now as I butcher this intro, you can join us any Monday, Wednesday, or Friday over on our Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash stints at 10 a.m. Eastern, Eastern. We hope to see you soon. But we're gonna get started now. Um, let's get, that being said, let's get right into it, okay? Absolutely killer system today. Great specs, great performance. Only thing I do have to I do have to do is I do have to switch the RAM. Switch the RAM. I grabbed the 32 gig kit instead of the 48 gig kit. There's the right kit of RAM. 48 gigs of RAM is what we needed. All right, this is gonna look good today. All right, let's go top down. Get started on this motherboard. We have the Z790 Gaming Pro today. <clears throat> let's get started right away. We need our CPU down and in. Then move on to our cooler standoffs, our NVMe drive, and our RAM. First is gonna be our CPU again. 14700K going down in the socket today. All right, let's pop open our socket here and see how we're looking. Make sure there's no bend pins. There are not, which is good to see. Let's grab our CPU. Yeah, we saw these at CES last year. We didn't really do much with them because they didn't have the glacier. They didn't update, update the glacier, glacier pump until recently. So obviously the, the cooling capacity of that CPU or the, uh, the cooler was a little bit behind. The fans were great, but the, the pump was a little bit behind. Now they've upgraded the glacier. So we're gonna see how she does with the new fans and something different too. We build so many PCs, we want something a little different. Yeah, they look different. These look definitely look like crazy. They're kind of like a, a mix of like the ALs and the SL fans from Leanly. We'll see how the performance are, because usually Fantex fans are really good performing as well. All right, two terabyte KZ3000 drive going down in the slot. Fantastic drive. And kind of the gold standard here at Shinspo. It's one of the drives we use every day. It's just reliable. There's a really high longevity for reading and writing, which is really what you want to see. Next, let's get this. Uh, let's get the cooler out. Let's take a look at it. Really good packaging on this. I mean, it's not the foam that we see on the new the deep cool, but I like how everything is packaged and wrapped nicely. A lot of a lot of a lot of stuff here. This will be our 1700 bracket. There we go. We're gonna need our 1700 screws. LG 1700, perfect. All these other screws can go back in the bag for now. We don't need them yet. Let's see how it fits strictly in here. Pretty good. Nice easy fit. Good support. Got a foam back. We get our screws that we need. Next, down we go with the standoffs. All in there. Standoffs are all in place. Next, we're gonna work on our RAM. Sideways, let's get our RAM out. Delta 48 gig, 6400 C32. Phenomenal kit of RAM to go with this 14700K. Sweet spot of RAM, still 6400 C32. Logan and Chatwell can attest to that. He's one of our, our sales managers, but also one of our, was our tuning manager for quite some time. Still does tuning, obviously. Everything's on the board. The Gaming Pro Z790 coming in for MSI. 14700K down the socket. Our standoffs in place for the D30 Glacier 1. We've got a two terabyte NVMe drive here in our Gen 1 slot, which is the Kingston KC3000. And we have 48 gigs of RAM coming in from Team Group and the Delta RGB. We have a 6400 megahertz CL32 transfer speed latency. Now let's get our case out. We got a beautiful case today. We have the Y40. People love, I feel like every time we get a Y40, by the way, on our website, it doesn't last more than a day or two. I think today we probably won't, won't be kind of one of those things as well because it is gorgeous. This is um, about 2800 for this build today. The front close up of this beautiful case. I forgot, I think I put the, um, all 120 fans, we are doing 140s on the side, actually, not just 120, we're doing 140s on the side. So we're gonna have plenty of airflow in today's system. Take out this rear fan, we're not gonna utilize this standard fan on the back here. We're gonna go to an RGB fan, of course. All right. We're gonna top down, get working on this motherboard. Next, let's remove the cover for the PCIe. This is for our riser cable that comes standard on the height cases. Probably the only thing we don't like about this case would be the riser cable. But, we'll be gentle with this. And here we go. Get ready to put this riser cable in really quick. Work on the rest of the screws. There we go. Heard a nice, nice thunk there for the riser cable going in. Let's get started on the rest of this build. Again, we have everything in there on the motherboard. Give you a front close up there. That beautiful Y40 with the gaming pro in there. Some light back here. 
Start working on the front panel connections. It's nice, we do have a fan down the bottom down here. If you do have an intake fan down below as well. These people don't see it. So there's gonna be three intake fans and four exhausts. Two of the intake fans will be uh, 140 millimeters, so plenty of air flow, air flow there. Navigating these cables to get at the fan headers. It's probably the hardest thing to do. There we go. All right. Next, we're gonna work on our Type C and USB 3 headers. There we go. Two USB 3 hit point oh headers in the bottom of the cage, which is really nice to see. I'm just running on our front panel connections before we move on to our, get our power supply and then our fans. Let's work on our fans. First is gonna be our D40 reverse fans. They're gonna go right here. These beautiful fans from Fantex. And two, all right, there's one of our fans. For the fans there. Let's get our screws that we need. Ooh, and, oh, I'm gonna do this real quick. I realize you can take the rubber off the sides of them and dress them up. Hold on, hold on. Ooh, that's neat. Okay. Hide the hole, you can hide the holes with these little adapters I have, chat. I'll show you guys here in a second. Super clean, it makes it really clean for, for aesthetics. So these fans look super clean, look at that now. No holes, you don't see any of the holes now on them. That's really nice looking. There we go. What do you think, chat? Those fans look pretty nice. Now that's in, we can work on our rear fan. We have a regular 120 for back here. They're not as easy to set up as leanly, but the quality of the fan seems more premium. I think we're gonna leave this one here for now because I think we're gonna have to put the cooler in and then kind of put that fan in after. Should give us some space for the cooler. So leave that as is for now. Um, we're gonna work on the power supply next, chat, okay? We're gonna move on to the cooler and work on the power supply next. PXG 850G, uh, 850 watt ATX 3.0 power supply today from Deep Cool. All right, there it is, chat. The PX850G, so we're on our cables. So the pump is not, there's no SATA in this system. That's kind of awesome. So you always need so much SATA. No SATA today. So we need CPU, GPU, and main motherboard. CPU one, 12 high power, we need that. CPU two, and 24 pin main. We need those four connections. All these other cables can go in the box. There we go, all in, there's our cables. Not a ton today. Pretty straightforward, easy peasy. Love to see it. Slide so this power supply up and down and in. First up is going to be our CPU, one and two. There we go, it's good. And next will be our 24 pin main motherboard. All right, now we're on to the cooler. All right, <clears throat> so let's get our fans. Again, we're going with the D30s. These are the bridges to hold these fans together, kind of like the Lee and Lee does. These are a little different. They gotta keep different connectors or else they get sued. This is a little bit more intricate and harder to put together, but it looks good. All right, all right, so you can, put the, you can put the screws on, then you can still cover these, which is really nice looking. But look at that, there's no screws. You don't see screws. It just looks very fluid. I really like that. So next we're gonna work on getting this pump mounted. There's that. We put the fan in, because we know it's gonna be a little tight getting this up and in. There we go, beautiful there. Let me get these screws going in, get two screws in. Corners to hold them in place, and we'll spin around so you can check it out. Get this rear fan in so it's out of the way too as well, chat. Got all these cables here, I wanna get these cables out of the way. I need like a slightly similar, similar fan. Looks like we're not gonna utilize this fan for the rear. We're gonna have to use a different one. I actually have another Fantex fan, hold on. I might have a scrolling fan back here. Let me check really quick, chat. This actually gonna put one of the, the matching fans back here, but it'll still look really good. There we go. See, we need a, th a thinner fan to fit right in that space. There we go, all right. There we go, chat, better look for you there. Well, the great thing about these fans though, they don't have to use a lean lee hub. You can just use your onboard RGB controller. People like that, so you don't have to have all crazy extra programs installed. Those are always nice. I will say this has a really good case for cable management. A lot of nice cleats and little things you can tie in your your, uh, your zip ties to. I'd like to see that. For being as compact as it is as well, because it's a pretty compact case, uh, the cable management is really good. So shout out to Height for that. Looking good, cable management, like I said, pretty clean on the back. Obviously you have the one cable you have to move, but looking good. Let's grab that GPU now, chat. All right, today we have a 4070 Ti2. We're using the WinForce Super OC overclocked. There we go, guys. There's our beautiful Super 4070 Ti Super today from Gigabyte. Great size card too for this build. There we go. It's 4070 Ti Super. Let's get our GPU down and in. Be a different kind of uh, thunk today. You can go to the mic at least. There's the thunk. We are in with a riser. There we go. Let's get that cable we need up and over. Get this 12 volt high power in before we get ready to light this bad boy up. This cable in here. You guys ready to light this bad boy up?
Guys, thanks for coming in and liking another video here on YouTube. Make sure you hit that like button to help us with the algorithm. Make sure people find us and see all the beautiful PCs we build. If you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button as well. Remember, we build these systems live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday over on our Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash stints. Come over, hang out, chat it up with us, watch us build beautiful PCs for everybody in the community. And remember, let's go.